Hello, cheers. My name's Chris and this is my balcony garden. Uh, so it's only a few months old. Let's have a look. So to start with is my first raised bed, so you can say. So see, it's got a couple of um, feet off the ground and I've already had a couple of failures with this one, but uh, a couple of successes, I guess. So the failures were the um, perpetual spinach, which just didn't pan out. Uh, I've put some herbs in this one, so I've got some mint basil, some thyme, parsley. I've got this tomato here, which I'm keen to do well with. It is a um, Siberian cherry. Now I can't find actually seeds for sale of this at the moment, or any more in the nurseries. So I'm hoping to get some uh, seeds from this. This is a bush variety, and it's uh, good with low low temperatures so I'm uh, thinking it might be good in winter. Uh, so I've also got here, I've just planted a um, Tiny Tim's tomato so hopefully that comes up. And in the back here I've got a, uh, a bush snow pea. Now you might say I've got a few of these. Uh, I bought a, a few of these um, to, to combat the cabbage moth and I'm not convinced so far and to be honest, I bought six and three have been destroyed by the wind so far. So, um, yeah, they, they kind of look cool, but I don't know if they work. The next bed I have was the second bed I bought, just like a couple of weeks after the first one. And yes, it's totally overcrowded. I've already like pulled stuff out of it um, to, to make more space. I've got a capsicum here, which is struggling, possibly not enough sun. A chili here, which we just harvested our first chili today, which is amazing some basil at the front, a couple of carrots for no reason in the middle, and the two tomatoes. This one here is a uh, Tasmanian chocolate. Let me see that. And this is another bush variety which will grow just to a set height, about as tall as it'll get. Uh, this one here is a cherry tomato heirloom, this kind of um, pear-shaped yellow cherry tomato. So I'm Looking forward to getting some of those. Next along the lines is a cherry, a small, like a standard cherry tomato bush, uh, or whatever you call it, and um, just started to get uh, some ripening there. And this one apparently grows like one and a half to two meters, and so it's getting up there. Something you might be able to see, so these ones here, I've got this wire um, structure buried into the dirt and I've got the, um, these over here holding this taller one in place. So November in Sydney is the windiest month and it has gotten windy. Like 30, 40 kilometers an hour winds uh, have been really blowing this place um, around. Moving on from the cherry, I've got this little, I've got a couple of um, kind of windowsill pots there, another tiny Tim tomato snow peas and other things that didn't grow. Uh, strawberries are doing great. And this here, this kind of stacker pots, I got a couple of weeks ago, and I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. Got some eggplant, snow peas, cucumber, lettuce at the top. Now, just next to the stacker pots, I've got some other things. Now these all have wheels on them, so I move them around depending on where the sun is. So this one here is a big pot, and I've got the star of the show is two blueberries. Two different types of blueberries, hopefully they'll cross pollinate. Um, but while they're growing, I've got a snow pea there and a silver beet um, there. The things that kind of started this though, are over here. So here you've got some more herbs, but basically, what started this was a, a project of growing avocados from seed, just, uh, just for fun. And then that has uh, spawned into this backyard garden over the last few months. So anyway, that's just a, a bit of a quick tour of my balcony garden. See ya. Like and subscribe.